Aquarius. I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, February 19th to Monday, February 26th, 2018. Now, before I get started, uh, I have two announcements. First of all, I'm not feeling too well, so excuse me if my voice sounds a little bit stuffy or if I cough or sniffle a little bit throughout this horoscope. <laughs> Second of all, I've got a webinar that I'm doing this Saturday, February 24th, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, <clears throat> on March 2018, and on the astrology for March, okay? So I'm just gonna talk about what's going on there. If you're interested, please find the link below in my description box to sign up and reserve your spot, okay? What I'll be talking about then are the three moons that are going on in March. We've got two full moons and one new moon, and of course a bunch of planets moving through Pisces and into Aries. I think this month is a great month to overcome some things from the past and to move forward into a new life, become a new person, doing some things that are better for you here, even if it requires you to chase down some old demons from the past before it is that you can finally feel better moving into your new life, all right? So that's what we're gonna talk about there. Again, if you are interested, please click the link below to sign up and to reserve your spot. I hope to see you all there. Okay, and now Aquarius, what is going on this month for you? Not this month, sorry, what's going on this week for you uh, is Mars, hanging out in Sagittarius right here, which is your 11th house of your goals your dreams <clears throat> and your hopes for the future. Also the groups of people that you associate with too. So what you're trying to figure out this week, I think is what your goals are, where you see your life going, uh, what people you want to associate with that really get you. And you're not just thinking about it. You want to do things. You want to move forward, reaching some of your dreams, doing some things that really resonate with you and working with people that are important. <laughs> okay. Uh, that can help you. So I think that is what is going on this week. I think while you're trying to reach some big goals and dreams of yours and associate with the right people, I think there's also a focus on another part of your chart here where the sun and where Mercury are in Pisces, where they just moved in at the beginning of this week. And that for you is in your second house of money. Oh, Got to write it over here. <laughs> okay. So what I think is happening is you're not only thinking about where your life is going, what you want out of life, who you can associate with that can help you, but also uh, how you can get money, doing some things that are really important to you, how you can be more confident stepping into some goals and dreams of yours, uh, and how you can use more of your gifts and skills and talents to do some things that you really want to do. You may also be trying to figure out what groups of people can really support you, what groups of people can you associate with that really value you uh, in some way and can really help you do some things you need to do to feel much more confident about your life and who you are. All right, so I think that is what is going on for you this week, especially at the beginning of the week. All right, with Mars and a trine with the North Node coming in here on Monday and Tuesday of this week, I think anything that you can do here to figure out where you see your life going, to reach some big goals and dreams of yours, uh, and to associate here with the right groups of people is then going to help you where the North Node is in your seventh house of partners. It's going to help you to work better with other people, to have one-on-one -on -one relationships with people that really get you and support you, <laughs> um, okay, and to move forward kind of making, me having the right people in your life. All right, and I think all this focus on you figuring out where you want your life to go and seeing the big picture and understanding what your dream of the future is is then going to help you associate with and connect with the right people one-on-one -on -one that are going to help you, okay? So that's what I see happening there. As you're thinking a lot about your goals and dreams for the future, about how you can associate with the right people one-on-one -on -one that can help you reach some goals, and about how you can feel more confident or make more income from doing these things that you want to do, I think you're also thinking right here where Saturn is, with Mercury also at the beginning of this week on Tuesday making a sextile over to Saturn uh, in your 12th house of your insides and of your spirituality, okay? So it's not just for you about how you can reach some goals and dreams of yours, make money doing it, be more confident doing it, associate with the right people. But I think you're also trying to figure out how you can feel better inside <laughs> with how you make money, feel more confident uh, inside, how you can do something that really, really resonates with you in some way. And I think you're also trying to figure out how you can overcome some things from the past, maybe an attachment to old things that you liked to do or old ways you thought your life would go so that you really can step into a new vision of your life, um, doing new things and being more confident with what it is that you are working on. Okay, and making more money too for some new goals and dreams. All right, so I think that is what this week is about, mostly the beginning of it. 
then on Wednesday and Thursday, as you're trying to think about and understand better what you need in life to feel more comfortable, to reach some big goals and dreams of yours and be more stable doing it, there could be some confusion that comes in. That's because on Wednesday, and Thursday, Venus then moves throughout Pisces and comes into a conjunction here with Neptune, uh, as you can see it, which could bring up some confusion here about your money, about how you make money, about where your money comes from. It could also bring up some confusion about your confidence and your gifts and skills and talents and what skills you have that you can use to help you move forward uh, being a thing. Maybe also with relationships, maybe worried that you can't make money with people or that people don't understand what you like and what you're good at too could bring some confusion up there. If you are patient, if any confusion does occur on Wednesday and Thursday, and if you listen to your intuition about what is going on, I think it will help you eventually in the end <laughs> to um, to feel better and to move forward okay that's because the very end very very end of this week on saturday into next week we do have venus after it makes the conjunction with neptune um in your second house um coming into a square over here with mars in your 11th so as to where the beginning of this week to me is a lot in your mind you know the beginning of this week is a lot of thinking here about life and about where life is going and about what you need to feel better and who can help you feel better and bring more stability into your life i think the second half of the week is okay now that i've thought about all of this how can i do it <laughs> how can i put it into place how can i take these things that i've been thinking about and actually make them happen and make them last in a way that will make me feel better all right and i think that's what starts to come in on saturday the weekend moving forward is that you start to think okay now how can i actually reach some big goals and dreams of mine and associate with the right people in a way that's practical in a way that can make me money in a way that can make me more confident um, in a way that can use more of my gifts and skills and talents and you start to actually do the things that you need to do to bring those two parts of your life together. Because this is a square coming in on Saturday, it could be a little bit hard to bring these two things together, to be confident with where you see your life going, to make money from your goals and dreams, but I think if you stay at it and if you put in the effort to do both, it is possible for you to move forward on that, okay? Around the same time this weekend, the sun also making a sextile to Saturn where Mercury was earlier in the week, I think helping you too to open up some more doors for you to feel more comfortable with money on the inside than perhaps you did earlier, for you to also feel more confident as well about your life. And I think the end of the week is a lot about you doing what you can here to find a way to make money doing what it is that you want to do to make money with some new goals and dreams of yours and to feel confident stepping into it. And I think the more that you can do these things that you want to do and feel more confident and secure and stable reaching some goals and dreams, the more it's going to help you too to just feel more comfortable on the inside, to feel more spiritually at peace with yourself and to move forward overcoming some things that were holding you back. All right, so that's what I see happening there. There could still be some confusion at the end of the week, Sunday and Monday into next week with Mercury coming into a conjunction uh, with Neptune where Venus was earlier in the week. So there still could be some things you're not quite sure about towards the end of the week as you move forward. But I think the end of the week, even if you are confused, you have a slightly better idea of where things are going than you did earlier. And I think as you move forward, you're starting to get more and more clarity here on your life, on where you see your life going, on who you need in it, and how you can be more confident in it, even if all the pieces aren't quite there yet. And to keep trusting and having faith as you move forward that things will begin to become even more, more, more and more clear and to work out all right so that's what i've got for you aquarius now your card for the um, week here is the is this the eight yes it's the eight of um wands <laughs> reversed what this can mean to me is a slower week than usual maybe things are feeling like they're crawling along here snail's pace and i think you need to be okay with that you know if things are happening slowly if you're not feeling like the passion's there it's fine it's okay you know you don't need to be excited about life all the time even though i know you have a lot of great ideas that are really really wonderful <clears throat> i think you need to realize that 
now that you have these great ideas and now that you have these great goals that it takes time to build on them and that sometimes you have to temper down the passion a little bit in order to put the plan in to make things happen to make them stay <laughs> and to make them sustainable and I think if you can figure out how to balance here some of these great ideas that you have for the future with some practical planning strategy that kind of thing moving forward even if it feels like it's slow going I think it's really going to help you at the end of this week to feel like your life is being put on more stable and solid footing and like you're starting to move forward all right so that's what I've got for you this week Aquarius thank you so much for watching my horoscope if you like it please like it on YouTube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and I will talk to you later